Good morning to everyone and welcome to my journey to the plot. It's Saturday the 15th of November 2014. Now last week and a couple of weeks before I've been talking about problems I had and it's in this little shed here where the um, the, the rot is at the in the corners on the uprights and along the on, on the front. People who now, haven't seen it uh, in the past, it's in episode two. Uh, basically, there's rot on the bottom of the this shed in the at the uprights and also on the horizontals and what. Well, anyway, I said I would come up with a solution, and I have uh, tried and looked and um, thought outside the box quite a lot. Now it's a bit like the United Nations when you're on the YouTube. It was like the summertime blues. I'm going to take my case to the United Nations and I did. Now I had responses of solutions from Canada, Australia, all over the world, Japan, Germany, uh, Austria, Ireland and uh, many many people uh, has emailed me privately apart from what went up on YouTube about solutions they had. And I have combined all the solutions and taken everything into account and I have come up with a plan that I think will do uh, fix my shed or to stop the rot and to repair it and keep me going for another seven years or so. Anyway, I thank all the people who have uh, contributed uh, and said what they would be the right thing to do and uh, I, I, I have taken everything on board. I hope that you like what I the suggestion I have, and other people can look on upon it as well. It's a simple solution, and uh, sometimes it's easy to think difficulty. It's easy to be complicated, but it's hard to be simple. Anyway, we'll go outside, and I'll show you what the solution is, and I'll show people who have not seen it before what the problem was, and we'll take it from there. I'm outside now, and for those who haven't seen the problem, the problem is there is rot on the bottom of this post here and there's a little lot uh, rot on the other side of the shed so this is large load bearing uh, post and uh, that's what the problem is and we have to find a way of solving it we cannot take the whole place down because the shed would have to the roof would have to come off and we'd have a serious problem so we're going to now try to I will present to you the solution that uh, I come up with to solve this problem and how we're going to do it okay to clarify where the problem is it's in this area here and this is just a replication of what's on the ground but I will be using those blocks there and just properly cut down and to put them into place so we'll go around to show you where is uh, what's stopping on what this is the horizontal across the long ways this is the the um, post which is a two they're all two by fours and uh, importantly this is the inside um, um, you see it like that so that's what it's got what it's going to be those blocks will be cut to the right size and placed inside now the solution that I have come up with is angle oh. piece of iron it's, and it's a six mil six mil 45 on each side all equal I have cut it 16 inches to uh, and I will place it down here for you in there so now you have this piece of iron along the side here and onto the and then what I will do it, it goes in like that now we'll screw those together on the on the long screw we'll use this one in there like that yeah and on the short side we use those ones so there will be one one two three and four and it's uh, when these are screwed on I will then proceed to go and cut out 
the bad part along here and along here and it will be done from the inside mainly uh, now to m we'll leave this down for a minute the important thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut put a little cut here in this corner with the saw from outside and I will cut in uh, uh, quite a bit as I can before I put before I put on the bracket so there will be a cut across there and with the saw and the reason is that when the bracket is on when the bracket is on it will be screwed on and I will have to go behind and chop it below the be, below the bracket so I'll be so it's easier to have it cut already on the outside than um, than trying to cut out little corners out of it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do I have these little rotary uh, little saw up which I will attach to my little rotary ones which I will attach to the my drill and slowly I will just simply cut these away up like that and I will cut that there as far as I go but from the inside will be the main cutting until you reach the metal but the metal will have a cut uh, which I did pre previously cut with the saw so that is the that is the solution and I hope that it's not uh, uh, too complicated so I have the main thing is I have a little rotary saw which will be able to um, root out all the the bad stuff and and make it straight for the blocks here when they're cut to, to go in I've uh, with some heavy rain outside I had to uh, cut outside uh, short and I hope that people got the gist of what I'm doing now, next week I'm going to do episode 4, and in fact it will be the real thing. You'll actually see me drilling, the, uh, putting in the blocks in place, and uh, gluing them together, and uh, seeing the job done. I thank you sincerely for watching, and uh, it's lashing with rain outside, I hope the noise isn't too much. Uh, please come back next week to I see thank the all the people job done, made suggestions of what to do, and uh, next week we'll actually see the job being finished. Anyway, I, again, bye bye for now and thank you. I'll see you next week. Bye.